Don Mazzella here again for Small Business Digest. You know, recently I saw some statistics which concerned me. It said that for photographer, professional photographers taking events has actually um, not expanded over the last three years. A lot of reasons for it. But it's also, as uh, many people have said, a professional photo photo photographer at your event makes you... Um, the photos better in the long run and you get more to use. Here to talk about it is Alex Permuter, who uh, I'm told is a very good photographer and um, who is a professional. He's from New Jersey, but it all what he says applies for the entire nation. Uh, Alex, welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, Alex, as we asked first all of our guests, Tell us a little bit about yourself personally, then about uh, your company, and finally a website. Sure. Um, I actually a professional photography uh, photographer for a very long time. I shot my first wedding. I was 19 years old, and it was a kind of a favor to my friend. And since then, it's become my profession for all my life. Uh, I do a lot of photography, I do a lot of videography, and uh, most of my clients is, uh, you know, people who get married at the weddings, uh, we do a lot of events, and we also do a lot of uh, photo, <clears throat> I'm sorry, photography work at the studio, when we do professional photo shots, we do a lot of video interview for the corporate people, and uh, we expand uh, throughout New Jersey. I have several offices uh, in the state of New Jersey. Uh, my main office is located in North Brunswick. And I also have office in Saddlebrook and Hoboken. Mm -hmm. uh, again, um, as I said before, I do a lot of weddings and corporate shots, corporate photography and corporate videography. Uh, Alex, do you have a website? Yes, uh, my website is very simple. It's called NewJerseyVideography.com. It's actually spelled out, NewJerseyVideography.com. Uh, when we actually launched the website, we only concentrated on the video production. Uh, but about 10 years ago, we were heavily involved in photography as well, especially once we opened our professional photo studio. In North Brunswick, we started to do a lot of photography, but the name is still the same. Our website is NewJerseyVideography.com. Okay, before we go further, explain to our audience what's the difference between photo a video video uh, photography, video graphics, and uh, uh, photography. So, uh, video is a kind of uh, motion uh, photography. I would call that. Um, Picture is actually um, is a matter of the moment when uh, you capture the moment on on uh, on image. Uh, I I used to tell on film, but it's not the film anymore. It's still the terminology exists. But um, again, uh, photography it's um, just a moment in time. When videos actually capture the uh, all the motion that goes around and. Um, uh, you can uh, see that how the people react to things, how actually people, uh, you know, communicate with each other, stuff like that. Okay, uh, Alex, we're here because uh, um, um, let's talk about the business side of this. Of, of this. Um, a small business has an opening, and usually what happens, they have the mother-in-law or somebody take video of the opening rather than use a uh, professional photographer no, not realizing that um, they should uh, as, as the marketing people keep telling me they should take the video and put it on the website so people see a little bit more now um, in your opinion um, what are the advantages of having a professional do, uh, do an open, let's start with a business opening so with today's technology, um, you're right. The, the new uh, phones that people have produced uh, 
incredible images and videos as far as the pixel wise and stuff like that. The quality is amazing, but it's always important who is behind the camera. Uh, no offense, but the professional people, they see it, uh, the pictures and videos much different than, uh, you know, usual person. So we always um, not just click the button, we tell you people how to uh, look, uh, how to pose. Uh, we actually looking for better lighting. We always adjust uh, cameras for better sound. We use a lot of equipments that provide the uh, external sound recorders and we actually uh, sync and post and give better quality uh, for videos. The same goes with the pictures. Uh, we control the light, we control the pose. We, we actually see it, how the, the pictures come out and we actually can tell people how to, to pose to, to, to get those pictures. We actually just, the, you know, the um, um, people just take the cameras and they think it looks great and they put, put it on the, on the uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or anywhere online so that's become their like a uh, storefront. Uh, when people actually look at their business, they look at the picture, the videos, and even the regular person can see that's not done professionally. And uh, it's actually sometimes actually um, tell the, give give the message that this business is not as professional as it sounds. Versus when we actually come in and do those pictures, it's look much, a little much different. And, and the people have different presentation of the business when actually they see their message. So the pictures made it by professionals. What should, uh, what should a, a business do with the pictures once they, once they get, uh, get, get it? They use a, a, a professional. What should they do with them next? So again, uh, promotion and marketing is a big topic. And uh, a lot of people just post their picture on their Facebook page, LinkedIn, they promote on YouTube and stuff like that. I have to tell you, we work with a lot of marketing agencies that actually uh, do marketing for the people. And they always uh, tell their client to get the professional Photoshop. They, they have us as a vendor, so they know we can provide um, the actual uh, professional made pictures and videos that they worked for their marketing. Well, before we go any further, your website again? My website is newjerseyvideography.com. Well, you know, this program goes national. So um, uh, can, uh, do you do any national work before we go any further? So we do travel. Uh, uh, as you know, when we travel, we, we charge for the travel expenses. But we done wedding and corporate shot in different states. We we do a lot of uh, work in Florida. Actually, speaking of Florida, we we now are looking for the place to open the uh, new location in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, okay. But we travel. We travel. Well, let's go. Uh, I just want to give you a uh, uh, a spot to uh, to promote yourself because. Uh, now we get into the heart of the thing. A, a, a small business doesn't have a big budget. How does one uh, decide uh, how much to use, how what to use, and how much to use in, in a video, uh, videographic and f f uh, photos? So, um, are you talking about the price wise? Yeah. Well, first, what. So uh, uh, a store opening. Let's stay with a store opening. Um, what 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 would be the case for coverage? One photographer, two. Well, how do you go about covering a store opening? So usually our packages start from about three thousand for photo and video. Uh, so we come in. Uh, we do all the pictures necessary for the uh, actual location and the people working in it. So they have enough uh, digitals to promote themselves on social media. We also do commercial uh, video clips that people actually can put again on the social media and promote themselves. Uh, if they're working with the marketing agency, the marketing agency will be more specific on what exactly they're looking for. But as you said, for the small business, just to, you know, to start the business, 
Uh, I don't think the $3,000 will break the bank and uh, especially with all the prices that people have to pay for the rent and everything else, it's actually very, very affordable. Again, our starting price, we, we can expand the package, depends on the client's needs, but um, that that's what it is. Uh, I'm a small business, I come to you. What are some of the questions I should be asking you about uh, for for doing a job, let's say uh, I've got a new uh, I've got a new product, a new widget that I want to uh, put on my website. What are the, some of the questions I should be asking you? So um, usually, people uh, when they come in to us, um, the simple question: um, what we have do what we have to do in order to, for this uh, product to sell. So again, um, we just provide the digitals. We don't do any marketing, but we're trying to make the pictures and videos at work. Meaning that if you actually uh, put these our images online, people will get clear idea of what you're trying to sell. And if you do the video, uh, people will get the clear idea uh, what exactly the, this product does how to use it. We do a lot of training videos. We do, we, we do a lot of how to, how to, how to videos. Uh, when people, you know, come up with some innovation and have the prototype, they're trying to see if the people are interested in their product. Uh, so we put the man behind the camera. We either, um, you know, call our talent to help the, with the video or people actually can do it themselves. We also have uh, script writers that actually can help people to write the script for their product so they can promote themselves themselves properly. Hmm. Well, you know, you, you uh, bring bring up an interest an interesting point. I come to you and I want to do a how to vi uh, 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 video. Uh, again, let's use that uh, old clipper ship thing, the a widget. Um, uh, what would something like that cost for you to to uh, put me through a um, a uh, let's say a seven minute how to a video? So this video will cost you fifteen hundred. So what it will include, you can come to our studio. Again, you have to do your homework and prepare the script. Uh, we have in the studio. We can control the light. We can control the the sound. Um, because it's you know closed space and it's built for, for the for the video shoots, and um, people come with their script and we take as many takes as required, as needed. Uh, then we edit, uh, we provide the uh, the draft online so the people can see it before it's actually get delivered to the crowd, and then once they satisfy with the product, is actually get delivered digitally so they can. Uh, upload to any platform they like. What's an ideal length for a uh, how-to video? You know, it also depends. Um, some people have clear idea. I would say the shorter, the better. Hmm. Uh, because people unfortunately lose patience. Um, and when people actually search, for example, on YouTube or for any particular product, uh, YouTube shows the uh, the length of the video. Most of the people looking for something about two three minutes. Uh, I know when people trying to. I'm sorry. How many minutes? Two three minutes. Thirteen minutes. Okay. Two two three minutes. So uh, I see that sometimes people come, and they have, you know, they want to do like a manual on the video. And then uh, the video become like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And the problem is that people actually lose, you know, uh, losing attention when they watch their such a long videos and the people actually drop in the middle of the clip and the, the YouTube uh, start promoting their videos because people don't actually watch the whole clip at once mm -hmm. till the end. Uh, it's fascinating. You certainly know what, what you're talking about. Have you done all of these? Well, we, we have we done a lot of different videos. Uh, again, uh, for promotional, I would say about two, three minutes. 
If it's something more educational, you can go about five, seven minutes. Again, training videos, we've done very long ones, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, but this is completely different uh, uh, product. Well, that's why we can't limit our programs to 27 minutes because people after that, every, everybody gets tired, including <laughs> me. But uh, uh, you know, well, let's step back a minute. Have you ever done a, a, an author program, an author video of an author talking about his book? Or her book? Actually, we have. Um, we have. We actually have the client uh, that um, tried to promote their book. And it's not just one book. It was serious of, uh, you know. And um, she was trying to um, explain to the, um, to the you know, to the audience uh, the idea behind the book, but again, not to open all the, uh, you know, what's going on in, in this novel. So um, it was pretty long, I would say about like 15 minutes, uh, but she had a lot of success, especially if you go to the YouTube and you see uh, how many people watch and how many minutes people watch their videos, it, it was it was good success. Well, if I hear you correctly, you're saying the shorter the better. Yeah, again, uh, I the shorter the better if you're trying to promote the product, uh, as you said, some widget. But if you're trying to tell the story, um, again, some people have the you know talent to tell the stories that people will listen to you as long as they have time. And not everybody has this talent. So that's why I always said the shorter the better. Try to keep under two, three minutes just to explain the main idea behind the product, not to go in too much details. It's fascinating. Um, uh, can, you, can you tell us about any unusual uh, small business assignments you've had that uh, you can tell us about? Unusual. Um, so I know a lot of people um, um, trying to, they know what they're doing, but once they see their videos, they understand it should be done completely different. Uh, not because we did something wrong, because um, it's completely different when you have in your head and when you actually see it uh, on, on, on the screen. And then um, everything starts from the scratch and everything, you know, had to be rewritten and redone and everything else. But at the end of the day, I want my clients to be satisfied and have a lot of success uh, with whatever they do. Hmm. Well, your website again, before we go any further? It's newjerseyvideography.com. Okay. Well, you know, uh, here's uh, uh, listening to here. Um, uh, let's get back. Do, do, you, um, do people come back to you and say, uh, I wish I had done this differently or that differently? What are some of the uh, things that they so initially say, I want it this way, then realize uh, because a, a lot of people go into with their, own, their own preconceived ideas rather than the photographers. So do you have any uh, examples where they wanted it one way and it, it turned out to be better the other way? So um, that's a very good question. Um, you know, when people come to us and take uh, endless to describe their product. And then when we're trying to cut the corner to make it shorter, it doesn't work. So we produce the um, quality of the video that actually explain the idea what people brought to the office, to the studio. And then they realize themselves that that is too much uh, because they're not just um, uh, watching themselves, they show to their friends, to the wives, to husbands, to, you know, to all the uh, a lot the family members and then their opinion become very um you know uh, intensive on their decision so they come in and we say you know what maybe we can change this and that and then represent the product differently but again at the end of the day um once they done uh working with us um they always satisfy with what they got well, um, I always believe that the main problem is people always talk about the product rather than what it can do for the uh, uh, viewer. 
Do you ever get to? Um, are you ever able to get convey that to your uh, to your clients? Yes, of course. Um, you see, uh, when people actually uh, trying to extend this product, they go in very details. And uh, again, people losing attention when you go to the, to describe this product in such much details. So usually what we uh, actually, if we have to write, to write the script, we give you the main idea behind the product that the client, the, the potential client will be very interested to buy the product and then actually discover themselves what they can do for them. Instead of, you know, describe everything and it can be rep represented differently um, by, the, by the presenter. What do you do when the agency is obviously leading them the client down the wrong track? You know what? Agency is the best, uh, especially for our business because they know what they're doing. Especially, I know some agents that we work for years and if the people actually, I, so I, in my opinion, if I would do something uh, outside of my business, I will definitely go to them because uh, they can analyze your product and give you exactly what needs to be done as far as the sales. So when it's come to the agency, it, it comes with the package. It's already a written script. They, they tell you what angles, I'm sorry, angles should be presented, how the product should be, uh, you know, uh, videotape and stuff like that. And if it goes to the pictures, again, uh, they give you all the specific details that makes our work much, much easier and the clients much more satisfied. Well, uh, one last time, your website again? NewJerseyVideography.com. Okay, we just have a couple minutes left. What would you like to leave our audience with? So, um, especially for the small business owners, uh, I would suggest um, to work with professional. If you can afford marketing um, marketing agency, it's, it's best. I definitely recommend to go to the marketing agency that actually can give you professional advice. They will hire the professional photographers, videographers to promote your business in the proper way. Or if you can afford marketing agency, we as New Jersey Videography have done a lot of business uh, with a lot of different uh, businesses. And we definitely can uh, provide you know, our creativity and our you know professionalism to make your product looks better. Well, I'm uh, no Alex per, per, per Pearl Muter. Pearl Muter. Yes. Thank you for a very illuminating half hour. Really, thank you. Thank you for having me.